Yeah, well, um, Doctor, to, to correct. <laughs> I, I hate to correct you from the testicular perspective, Jessica, but it is true that we have removed shame from society, but not for everyone. <laughs> Only for women. Women have got the shame begone penumbra of, of estrogen feminist shield all around them. No slut shaming. However, however, any man who tries to point out the, and I can say this from personal experience, any man who tries to point out that um, sluts make terrible wives, that women who sleep around a lot are almost certain to divorce you and have, you know, your uh, balls nicely sewn up by a bunch of lawyers with uh, ungreased dildos in some godforsaken family court dungeon. So uh, it is uh, anyone who tries to restrain female behavior now for the good of kids or whatever, or talks about single motherhood or talks about uh, sexual restraint or whatever. Ah, you're just some Victorian prude. And of course, there's patriarchy, there's rape culture. Men are supposed to uh, look at their entire being with shame. We are rough. We are tough. We excrete strange smells and stranger fluids. We have skid marks in our underwear, and we dominate, and we oppress, and we have done throughout history, and we're racist, and we're sexist, and we're God knows what, right? I mean, so, right. yeah, shame has been, you know, scrubbed free of the female hierarchy of values, but it hasn't gone from the world. It's just grown up and gone to live uh, in dark and smelly places where, where men dwell. <laughs>